Okie dokie, welcome to the adventure blog of Oliver Jackson. He's gonna be telling you all about the voltage camera in this video. So the voltage camera is basically the idea of this. As you pass electricity through a wire, imagine you had a giant copper block, maybe say half the size of this room, and if you fed a wire in one end and took a wire out the other end, the electricity in it will shoot through it like electrons shoot through a vacuum. And you can use that to make cameras. So um, do I have an orange? I gotta invest in some more markers. I have a bunch of Sharpies here, I'll have a look. Do we have any oranges? We have reds, greens, no. I gotta invest in markers. Markers are the best for doing these drawings. So fortunately copper is gonna be red in this video. So you have your Conductor, big block of conductor. And you have your um, wire in and wire out. So there's your big block of conductor. So you have your wire in plus going in or minus going in, I think. Well, maybe plus, I'm not sure. But I think plus just goes slow. And a minus, people say it's completely stopped, but I think. Positive electricity just goes a lot slower than minus electricity. So you, you, the electricity goes in and then it kind of, like a light bulb inside that room, it sprays out in all directions. And then you can tap it at the other side. So I thought it was like, why not be able to create copper lenses for that material? And I'll use blue for a different, I'll use green for a different conductor current. So this is my idea is a voltage or conductor camera is what it's called. Um, so imagine that's the C and that's a copper lens. And then in between it is another bit of a different conductor and then another copper lens. And then that they end up going to wires and those wires will tell you whether there's an electric current or electric voltage in that area. So that was one of my ideas was to use a conductor camera or a, uh, uh an electric camera um so it's, it's quite a simple idea um you could use it underwater to film really far distances the way sharks see you with underwater with electricity they kind of use radio wave or antennas with single bead um single electric receptors but um you have you have a grid of electrical receptors and things like that um what else could you use it for? You could use it for looking inside of patients as a, an alternative form of um, ultrasound, which is like electro sound for looking into uh, the patients, looking through walls, looking into metal for defects. So th there, there'd be some of the options of, um, of basically how that might work. So it, it's a simple invention. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope it was understandable and I presented it clearly enough. So um, thanks again.